Welcome to Learn at Len. How much do you know about Microsoft Office? Hey guys, welcome to Learn and Learn Video Tutorials. Okay, so basically I'm going to be talking to you a bit about Microsoft Office and why it's such a good thing to kind of understand. <coughs> Sorry, I'm feeling a bit bleh, you know. Um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you all about Microsoft Office in terms of the whole thing. Um, in later tutorials, I'll be showing you about various other things, whether that's creating a VLOOKUP in Excel, or if you wanted to create a PowerPoint and you know do your thing, or if you wanted to create a OneNote. You know, just these are things which many of you probably already do know, but there's always something for you to learn. Um, and with Microsoft Office, given on how often it's constantly changing there's always um, a few additional adjustments always made every three four years whenever a new um, a new Microsoft Office uh, ugh, what should I say software is developed um, so yeah and this is normally done every three years um, if you have like the older version such as 2010 I would highly suggest upgrading to at least 2013 <coughs> and um, if you have 2007 before 2010 well I'm just gonna simply say that you're too old to be even going on YouTube um, yeah seriously upgrade like I do it now like no joke anyway so let's get started all right so as you know Microsoft Office is very uh, what's the word uh, very advanced very useful for many first world countries in which um, first world or very highly uh, oh, how should I say this um, highly respected companies where they would use technology um, they would always go to Microsoft Office in most cases and if not every single goddamn case um, I don't know any companies or I haven't been to any companies where they haven't used Microsoft Office um, even just the simple things such as a word document they would simply use partly because it's so easy to kind of navigate your way around anyways <coughs> Sorry. Let's take a look at Word. Um, as you can see, Word is just um, what's the word? An A4 piece of paper, and so on. Um, generally speaking, um, all documents, including Excel, for instance, they all have like a similar design where everything is at the top, and this makes life easier for everyone, um, no matter what type of word uh, sorry Microsoft Office program you're using if it's Excel OneNote PowerPoint Outlook bloody blah, blah, blah they always have their kind of layouts at the top making it super easy for you to kind of navigate your way around um, let me just show you an example so we have a home insert design layout reference mailings review view and stuff like that and let's take a look at this home insert page layout formulas data review view you know it's all pretty much uh, like at the top kind of uh, one that's a bit similar but it's only for writing notes here and there and stuff like that um, PowerPoint let's just take a look at this yeah exactly it's all the same insert design blah -de blah so it doesn't matter where you're going in Microsoft Office even the goddamn mailing system has it I mean this is confidential well it's not confidential at all considering I'm showing it to you but it's the whole idea that they will have a similar layout uh, once you get used to Word or Excel for instance it'll be the same for any other um, program in terms of um, software that you use within Office Ugh, that came out horribly um, anyways you know what I mean so let's just start off writing hello users okay cool all right so we can do various things <coughs> Ugh, damn this cough is going down but it's still pretty bad anyways we can always change the size and the layout and the looks and stuff like that with pre-made templates I mean if you just do file and then you try opening um, 
you can open up any of your previous files, blah de blah, or if you wanted to use a previous template, so for instance if I right click here and go to there, then it will give me all these kind of new templates that I can use, so this is the beauty about Word and in fact Microsoft Office is that they always make you these interesting usable templates where you can add your own things, for instance you can change this, blah de blah, so if I change the recipient's name it will actually probably affect this bit, let me see, if I do Len, there it goes, can you, you see that, dear Len, it's changed, um, in this case I actually want to say Len, Learn it, Len, because that's my YouTube name. Bloody blah, blah, blah. Uh, Learn it, Len. Let's see what happens. And let's change the address to Learn it, Len. Bloody blah. blah. <coughs> so, whether or not you think you've had enough of my name, um, yeah, then ha, funny. Um, anyways, that's just an example. You can change all sorts of various things. Um, these templates are extremely useful if you ever need to, you know, create. Um, a leaflet or an email or if you want to create some sort of shareholders kind of um, I don't know, signature document or something like that um, then I would highly recommend using these templates they have a template for pretty much anything and everything um, in terms of having you know simple things such as this where they change the indent of um, your wording and stuff like that you can change it to bullet points or if you wanted to just simply go here under the arrow and then go to whatever this is for instance uh, I assume it's just an arrow if you want to use tick marks um, you can even go to many others like you can just change it completely just do whatever you want so if you wanted to change it from the center to the right hand side to the center once again to the left but this would slightly change the layout so if I was to go like this and go here what would happen is it will create a margin on both sides and therefore it would make it all even lengths depending on whether or not the wording goes from all the way here and overwrites down to the next layer line so it's extremely useful in that sense you can highlight it, you can cross words out if you wanted to. So, for instance, if you're swearing and you wanted to cross it out, but you wanted to make it pretty much obvious that you were expressing yourself quite freely, then yeah, go for it. Um, you can highlight things, you may them bold, italics, you can underline. Um, let's go to insert. You can even insert shapes and blah, all sorts and stuff like that. Um, I'll show you how to create buttons on Excel which could be very useful if you ever want to create a recorded macro and when I say this recorded macro it's basically a recorded action so for instance if I had a button here saying go to page one and I had uh, uh, let me say insert uh, no no I am being stupid sorry if I want to create a new page and rename this for instance I'll be page one then in sheet one if I created a button using some uh, inserted uh, shapes um, with the wording of go to page one then if you were to click on that then it will take you to page one so that would be one cool thing I could show you on Microsoft Office things that you probably don't even know about um, but I think Word is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, if you want to insert pictures, online pictures, so things that you would get off a browser, then that's perfect. These pictures are from normally from your own kind of documented sources on your PC, your laptop, or an external hard drive, whatever. Um, you can have smart art. So smart art is like design things which can move about or can be uh, what's the word? Um, in this case it'll be like a certain layout for instance if you wanted to create a list and you know so on um, you can also go to screenshots uh, in this case you could take a screenshot or a screen clipping and then you can simply just upload it um, let's go to mailing so you can even send mail directly from word normally you'd have to link your outlook account so that way you can send it straight away from your Outlook account. I don't know if it works, particularly if you try uh, using an online source from your browser. Um, that would be a different story. 
By the way, I like to listen to this and music whilst I'm writing my novel. Um, you could always go to a review. Uh, just, I don't think I want to bore you with this um, because I'm only giving the overall aspect of Microsoft Office. Um, and in terms of <coughs> moving on, I'd like to go to Excel. Excel is a really beautiful thing. It's it's very it's most different from all the other kind of applications on Microsoft Office in terms of what you can do with it and what you can do with it is so vast that it's just beyond me. Um, let me just go to Publisher like this. I forgot to get that out. <coughs> all right, Publisher is also a beautiful thing, but I'll show you that later. Anyways, Excel documents are normally used for, you know, creating a finance reports and building up information um, in order to sell it to your manager. For instance, if you had a press conference meeting and you wanted to show them some statistics on revenue or, you know, and stuff like that. It's very useful for that. It's what it's commonly used for, especially accountants. Accountants like to use these things just to, you know, help them out. Although they would have their own online sources uh, or their own programs in which have been specifically built for their company. Um, but a lot of the time accountants, especially for upcoming businesses, um, they would rely on Excel partly because it's got pretty good formulas. So for instance, I could do, uh, well, let me just do one, two, three, four, five. For instance, if I wanted to find the minimum, I would just simply do min like this. And with this done, if I go here, uh, I do double brackets and within the bracket I would say find the minimum of all these values and it would obviously be 1. If I change this to max, the highest value is likely to be what? 5, isn't it? Um, so this is the beautiful thing and you can always add in more um, as long as you recode this. Um, but in that case, I'm pretty sure you're not that silly. Um, or if I wanted to add it up, so I would do equal sum all these document cells and then press enter it will add up one two three four and five all together to add up to 15 beautiful simple and lovely um, you can also create charts with it if you ever wanted to so if I want to create a pie chart just out of this it will show one here two is the orange one three is gray one. <coughs> oh god and so on um, but I don't know why it's done like that. It's quite interesting now that I look at it. Um, but you wouldn't obviously create a chart or something like this. It'd be a bit pointless and no one would use it. Um, it's very good if you want to create loads of documented reports regarding numbers. Um, you can do so many things with it and it's ridiculous. Um, but other than that, Word is normally used for creating books and novels if you wanted to or if you want to create any you know signature sheets or anything that you just want to document you know um, Excel is good for finance OneNote is just is kind of in the name you just take notes um, yeah there's not really much to say about this I mean for instance you could just write whatever you want it's kind of like a diary planner if you just want to be like nah, 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 my life my life is awesome or is it? I don't know. Um, you know, and you can do various other things if I wanted to go, you know, add in a picture, whatever, under here, then you could do that. <coughs> Damn. Len, you need to sort yourself out. Anyways, forget about OneNote. OneNote is a recent thing that just came out recently, so I think it's still under under beta if that makes sense um, basically beta is kind of like when they release something and they're still fixing it or it's still um, under maintenance whatever um, but it still allows its users to access it um, PowerPoint is very good for creating documents if you ever want to showcase your ideas to either your employer or future or potential employer um, for instance I could say hello welcome to learn it learn like so <coughs> today I'll be showing you all about Microsoft Office 
really silly that I did that but you can also put in notes um, you can add in comments if you wanted to so hello haha <laughs> and basically this will show up here um, so for instance if I clicked on this and you reply YOLO then these are a showcase of various comments that you can look at if you were to click on it um, you can go to layouts, you can add comparisons, so changes the layout, blah blah blah. You can change the design of it, so if you wanted it to have this kind of background, in this case it would be beautiful, hello, blah blah blah. Nice. Anyways, Outlook is a similar idea. You basically connect your account with this. You can have multiple accounts under one simple system. Very useful. And yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory if you have a Hotmail account. This is basically the way forward if you want to set up your business. Many companies rely on Outlook, partly because it's easier in terms of navigating away and around various other accounts. Um, and it's just more business friendly. We also have Publisher. Now, Publisher is great in terms of, uh, what's the word? Um, creating a booklet. <coughs> so, if you want to create a manual guide or a booklet, whatever, so for instance, um, a dentist booklet, when you go into a dentistry um, or, you know, when you pop by to your local dentist, they always have these little, you know, smile booklets of people just smiling away and, you know, then you look inside the leaflet and you're like, oh, okay, this and that and that. So, yeah. Now what that's what it's really useful. Um, other than that, I have showcased you the overall idea of Microsoft Office um, and how it's um, what's the word suitable for various things. Um, Microsoft Office is amazing when it comes to being business friendly, user friendly, and you know many university students would use Word, for instance, if they have to create their um, the thesis or if they have to you know hand in um, you know a report or whatever extremely useful and it's something that is highly taught upon in all schools uh, I'm sure of it schools in which they can afford computers in that case um, but anyways I'm glad you got the gist of it and I hope you are ready for my next video tutorials in which will show more about you know more in depth about how you can maximize your use on word anyways thank you have a good day hey guys don't forget to like my videos and subscribe oh shit, that was so bad what is wrong with me